Right, Steve, obviously looking forward to York this week. It's your fourth game back now uh, since, since you had your shoulder surgery. How have you found it? I know we've had a couple of, couple of difficult results recently, but other than that, how have you, how have you found it getting no, back it's, into the it? It's been all right. Obviously, Dewsbury was a, a game in the mud, so it wasn't very fast. It was a, a good game for me to come back into, really. It was, not, it was, it was pretty slow. Um, so I managed to get through a bit of work in that game and it brought it up to speed, but you know, the results haven't been the results haven't been great, obviously the last two games, but personally I've, I think I've, I've, I've done alright to, you know, from pretty much having no pre-season because of my shoulder injury, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm alright and I'm, I'm ready to go again now. And can you just talk us about, obviously we know, we know that you had in-house, we know you had shoulder surgery in the off-season, can you just talk us through the process of that and obviously the, the length of time with the rehab and the things that you had to, to get, get through in yeah. the pre-season to well, get back? Obviously I did it in August against Halifax as spot and shoulder. It wasn't overly painful, but it, it was so obviously painful. Screaming on the floor, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, all right. But um, you know, I managed to get through the season and then you know, I, I thought it was going to be all right, but then come back into pre-season and I, was, I just wasn't right. And, Obviously, being a little bit older now, I don't want to be going into seasons um, undercooked. So, you know, Simon and Dave thought it was the best thing for me to get it done. So, you know, I had, had the operation, um, full uh, rupture of my labour, had that fixed. Should have been back for the York game, but obviously, with the fitness and um, medical staff we've got here, we managed to get back a month early and, you know, we're ready to go again. Yeah, and obviously going into the York game, uh, we'll be looking to get back back on the arse, won't we? Get the, the two championship points on the table, you know, the, the 1895 Challenge Cup, that's that's gone now, so we've just got the league to look forward to. What do you think we'll, we'll face this week when we go to York? I think when you, York last year, we obviously came out the blocks both, both times against them, and I think we were winning at half time, and then our lack of um, uh, middles and older ready players probably cost us in them two games and but that's one thing York have got, they've got a lot of experienced championship players and a lot of experienced Super League players um, so that, that is, you know, it's going to be tough but I think I think we can get out of them, I think we've got a really besides myself a really fast team so I reckon we can we can cause them a lot of problems and you know hopefully we can we can get back to winning ways. Yeah, obviously. So, as I mentioned, we've 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 been knocked out of the Challenge Cup now. So, our focus is on the Championship table. So, uh, come the back end of the year, where where do you sort of expect us to be? I know that, like you said, the results haven't been going to going to plan the last few weeks. But if we can get back on the arse this week, it obviously sets a good a good platform for the rest of the year. Yeah, we've had we've had a fantastic start, haven't we? Like, you know, we're four from five in the league. <laughs> you know, it's. Doesn't get much better than that, you know. Five from five would have been great, but it's not the end of the world that we've, you know, that we've lost the game. Um, I, you know, I think we're more than capable of making the playoffs, and that's that's got to be the aim. But, you know, whether you first, second, third, or fourth, whatever it is for the playoffs, as long as we're in there, I think that's, that makes for a good season. And then with the type of team that we are, if we do get in there, we can be quite dangerous. So, but we, it's still early days. We just, you know, we're building nicely. Um, some tough games coming up and we'll be able to see where we are and you know it starts this week we are really. And just finally on that game, obviously Jack's returning this week. Um he's been our goal kicker, hasn't he, over the, the back end of last year and leading into this year he sort of said that he wanted yeah. to take over the goal kicking duties. You I think you've gone twelve from twelve is it since you've come back, so what's what's your thoughts on that? Well, it was a similar case last year. Jack got injured and I really took over, and we had a little bit of an awkward conversation about it, like more, more for him because he, um, he, he, I think he feels and he's, he's he feels a lot better when he, as a player when he's kicking as well. And I, look, I'm more than happy for him to do it. I'm you know getting a little bit older now, so it's taking its toll on my hamstrings. It was your birthday the other day. How, how old were you? Was it thirty-seven the other day? <laughs> Thirty three, but I feel twenty-three, so I'm all right. <laughs> Don't no, I just. Just going back to that, like I, I'm more than happy, you know. Jack's our captain. He plays better when he's kicking. That's more important. Who's to your method goal kicker though? I don't know what I'm saying. Like, well, <laughs> no, it, like I said, I'm more than happy for him to do it. You know, I came, came here, just accepted that I weren't going to do it no more, and 
I don't think I know them. I'm there if I need it kind of thing, so it's, it is what it is. We've got two, two really good goal because and that's what matters. Well, like you said there, we've, you know, we're blessed with two very accomplished goal kickers, Jack's. I think he's seventh or eighth on the witness yeah. high, high scoring charts, and you're the highest. Is it the highest active? I'll say it after. What's the what's the terminology? Highest, the highest scoring point scorer. Point scorer. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. That's it's nice. nice. And obviously they're both great accolades in themselves, aren't yeah. they? So um, Jack will be a big boost to us coming back this week, and obviously uh, Kenny and Fancy are back as well. What do you think they'll bring Jack to us? Jack just brings obviously leadership, captain. A lot of speed, skill, but he, he does all the little things that maybe the things that we switched off from the last couple of weeks. That especially the push and the organisation is unbelievable at stuff like that. If he makes a break, he's finishing it. Um, Kenny brings work rate, a bit of skill <laughs> to be fair yeah. to him. And fans, he just fans his fans. Yeah, I absolutely love watching him. Like, you've seen me jumping around when he bangs someone. I can't wait to see some of that. Yeah. Um, He's just a monster, and he like the Dublin straight at him, but people seem to do it, and you know it's good to see. Well, it's good to have them three back, and obviously we'll be we'll be looking to get the two points on the board on Sunday. So, on behalf of myself, because obviously I'm not playing against, I'm made up Chris. So, I just want to wish you good luck for Sunday, mate. Let's get the two points. Cheers, pal.